Hi, I'm Anita Potter from Anita Potter Production, and in today's Reaper Quick Tip, we are going to learn how to change Reaper's metronome sound. As you all know, uh, metronomes are tick, 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 and it's just like poking you in your eardrums and frying your brain and stuff. But there is a way to change it in Reaper. I'm going to show you two separate ways. One's within the metronome and the other one is in the click source. We're going to work on the metronome first. So up here, I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to just double click and add a new track. I don't really need to, but it's nice to have something there so it's not naked. And we're going to click to enable the metronome and we're going to right click on the little icon. And you can see that we have settings for the metronome. We're going to enable it, run it during playback, and all these other settings, count in and beat volume and the beat pattern. Now, down here, we can change the primary beat sample and then the secondary beat sample. I'm going to copy and paste it in. So, where did it go? It disappeared. So, we're going to right click on the metronome and you have primary beat sample and secondary beat. I'm going to, and I'm pretty sure it's going to disappear on me again. Yep. Which it will do, so we'll just get it back. There we go. Primary beat sample. I'm going to paste it in. And I'm going to get the secondary beat sample. Copy it. Oops. Dang it. And then I'm going to paste it in. Okay. So when I hit play, kick, snare, 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 kick, snare, snare. Let's see. You can also, I do believe, is there a way to turn the volume up on these? You can turn it up. Um, right now, the first beat is at negative 12 dB. And the secondary beat is at negative six. So I kind of want to move this one up to a little more that way. Oh, wait, what is the secondary beat? Just let me make sure. Primary beat volume. Yeah, I kind of want to hear the beginning. So let's test it again. And that's the way to change it into the metronome. Now I'm going to disable the metronome. And I'm going to insert click source, which is right here. And you can do the same thing with that. But in order to get to this, you need to hit Control F2 to open up the click source properties. And I've already got the same samples, but you'll just browse for each of the samples you want for the first hit is your primary beat. Your secondary beat is the, the rest of the um, uh, four for four. In four four time, it'd be like kick, snare, snare, snare. Be the rest of the beats, the final three beats, if I could speak properly. And then it'll should Now I'm wondering, if I use the gain, will it make it louder? Yep. You turn the volume up on it. You can even do it on the track if you want to. And that's basically how to change Reaper's metronome. Now I'm not sure entirely if it will transfer on the metronome. I know in the click source, it stays. It, it doesn't disappear, but I think on the metronome it does. So I'm wondering if I go to a project that's over here and I turn this metronome on, if it's still the same metronome sound that Reaper came with. Yep. So for every project you want to use the metronome on, you are going to have to set it every time, unfortunately. But if you just use the click source, it's, it's there forever. 
So if you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.